Welcome to the Block 20 report coverage of the Blockchain Global Expo in London. I'm your host, OI, and I'm here today with Chris from Stratis, who's the CEO. Thank you so much for coming on the show, Chris. No problem at all. So, um, can you tell us a bit more about Stratus to begin with, just for our viewers who aren't already familiar? Yeah, um, so Stratus is a blockchain development platform. Um, it's completely developed in C Sharp and Microsoft's .NET, mm -hmm. um, which is one of the dominant languages in corporate and financial services uh, development. Uh, we have a blockchain as a service offering, so we don't just have our Strat public blockchain, we actually allow customers to deploy their own private bespoke blockchains. Okay. So it's all about providing that uh, flexibility. Um, a lot of the organization have an enterprise background, myself included, so we're really trying to target those enterprise customers and the, the platform's been developed from the very beginning with those in mind. Okay, and people who follow you know that you guys are doing very well and you've got a high market cap and you're always in the top 100. So. Yeah. What is it about this project that's maintained its position and as a dominant, highly traded cryptocurrency? Um, that's a very good question. I think part of it is that we're still around. Um, a lot of these projects that people will disappear after a while yeah. and they won't maintain the project. Um, the other is that we work very hard. Um, I mean, everything's open source, so you can see the, the development as it happens. And we've, got a, we've built a huge team of developers that are working literally round the clock on, on building out this platform. And um, we give a lot of visibility to our community as well. Um, I mean, me, I'm CEO, but my door's always open. The community can ask me questions and I'll answer them. And I think that that's played a big part in our success. I mean, we actually have a lot of our early investors here with us, around 20 guys um, that have been with us since day one. And they're, they're still supporting us now. They're still holding. So, yeah. Yeah, that says a lot about the project. So you're about to launch an ICO platform. Can you describe something, like can you describe to us what this platform will be about? Correct, yeah. So we just wanted to create an ICO platform that was intuitive and allowed non-technical users to invest in ICOs. Um, some of the ICOs, it's quite difficult for people to actually invest in them. Yeah. Uh, whereas we thought if we have a very simple uh, GUI that somebody could come to and, and invest, and that was the uh, reasoning behind it. So when are you looking to launch this ICO? Um, we're going to be launching it within the next sort of four weeks. And would you like to announce any big ICOs perhaps that are going to be launched on the Stratus platform that you know about? Um, yeah, so we've got the first one has actually uh, come through the door. They're called Gluon. Um, they differ from 99% of the ICOs out there in the fact that they're a huge established company. Um, they're in the auto parts manufacturing and they have uh, parts in over 1 million vehicles around the world. Um, they've got like a 25 million pound plus turnover, so they're established, they've proven themselves in, in business. They've built this company from the ground up, and now they're bringing a new product to market, a blockchain-backed product, and they're doing an ICO with, uh, with Stratus. Okay, and do you guys screen people who are, want to use your I mean, platform? Yeah, you have to be very careful, yeah. um, but we do. what we like to say is we do the minimum amount of due diligence. So we went out to San Francisco, we made sure they really had a warehouse, yeah. we made sure they really had a business and, and met with the guys and, and, and tried to do as much due diligence as we can, but we always recommend that people do their own due diligence. Approximately how many projects do you have currently on the platform that are using Link? Um, at this moment in time, it would be hard to actually give you a number okay. because there's people working in bubbles that yeah. we're not even aware of. Uh, we actually came to the conference and found a project that said that okay. had uh, Stratus on yeah. their back that they're building on our platform, and we wasn't aware of them. So yeah, it's pretty cool. There's there's a lot going on. Do you guys promote any of the ICOs? Um, we only promote Gluon, the one that we brought okay. through. Yeah, but. Um, so at the moment you have to come to us for us to deploy the platform for you but in a month's time it will be deployable by anyone so you'll be able to go on to say Microsoft's Azure, deploy ICO and, and you're off and you can do your own ICO so it's not going to require any endorsement from us um, but the, we will be picking the ones with a lot of potential and sort of helping them along. And for our viewers that aren't familiar and want to invest in Stratus and believe in what you're doing, yeah. um, what kind of exchanges are you on? Are you on all major exchanges at the moment? Um, so we're on Poloniex, okay. uh, Bittrex, Binance. So there's so quite a few options. Basically, yeah. 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 basically all the top ones. Yeah, okay, yeah. good. Thank you. And is there anything you'd like to tell the viewers just before we go about the project? Um, keep an eye out for our smart contracts coming yeah. soon. Okay. Thank you so much for being on the show. This is OI reporting for Decentral Media. Thank you for watching.